thank you for coming into the channel. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Um, many of you might be experiencing a breakup right now, and it could be uncomfortable, it usually is, testing, trying, and I'm not sure whether it's just happened or what stage you're in or what stage you're at. Um, but it could be related to lying, cheating. It could be a family member's pushed you to the point where you've decided that it's too late. Um, it could be money. A person's wasted all the money on gambling. By the way, I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist from Gosford on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for coming in. And it comes as a shock. For some of you, it may not come as a shock. For some of you, it may be, um, have been coming. And the resolution just wasn't satisfactory enough and you could see that this person Cope, excuse me, I'll just answer the phone. Yes. Oh, it's in it's in the U. Uh, yeah, I'm down at the waterfront if you want it. Okay. It's just hanging on the back, everything hangs on a back lead in the U. It's hanging there. Bye daughter wants to lead for the dog. She's got the dog today. Her dog. And so it could be they've tried to come up with a solution which hasn't worked. They've tried to uh, fix the problem but they haven't been able to and your tolerance is worn out and you've come to the point where you've withdrawn, gradually, detached, the tolerance has run out, and consequently there is a breakup. Sometimes as a breakup approaches, the person will produce behaviour that will cause you to let them go. When this happens, usually it's to justify themselves after the relationship breaking down as a victim, which will help them to enter back into <coughs> their fold, uh, particularly if it's a triangulation situation where the family members haven't liked you and the person's stayed in the relationship for the benefits against the better advice of the family um, and now has to go back to the family discarded which will give them a better entry point as the victim martyr. We told you so, and yes, you were right. Re-entry back into the way the domestic formation was before the collapse. What you'll find is they return to the people that usually have caused the trouble. These people were toxic before you come along. The parents have usually groomed these people to have the default mental formation that they have, the toxicity that's in their minds. Um, and you can't combat that, there's no point in trying, it's not gonna work. You have to accept that the circumstances are what they are and let them go. Otherwise you're being selfish yourself and you're trying to, <sighs> you're in a fantasy. All the red flags are there. There's possible signals from the person trying to tell you nicely that this ain't gonna work or telling you through their behavior that it's not gonna work. But we allow our loyalty and faithfulness to blind us from making decisions that will help us to move on into a situation in life where we can possibly find a more suitable partner or 
um, at least be able to recover ourselves and get on with life and if we end up on our own we end up on our own you get to that point and so a lot of us don't want to accept the fact that people do send signals to us indicating that they can't fix the problem they haven't got the character they haven't got the the value they don't want to have the value um, they've tried it's not going to work it's all too hard and you're from two different cultures that now have collided in the negative you've run your course you've had your turn um, there's not more any of you can do the situation has now diminished which is a narcissistic term by way of devaluation to the relationship and the relationship therefore diminishes um, and that's just the way that it goes this is hard we're not culturalized to do that we're not um, expecting this although when you get to my age and you've had as many relationships as I have you do begin to expect it because you see the signs early you can apply tolerances and things like this but it won't help the person to fix the issues that they might have to deal with you see a lot of people come into relationships unprepared and when they do meet somebody that's fully um, well almost fully done all the work and is prepared it's a shock to them because the light that you bring will manifest the darkness on their side of the fence darkness doesn't like the light it can't comprehend it and this is where the two worlds collide they collide first with love uh, in the fantasy realm and then they collide in the reality realm of we're not compatible and this is life you can't um, you know be nasty well I was a little bit nasty at the end there because I told tell, I tell them to get their stuff and go I can't be bothered anymore um, which is oh well what else are you supposed to do I'm not going to send them off with gifts and presents so we're getting all those in the relationship and so you have to as you get older and wiser understand that there's going to be an element of failure in relationships and that could mean the whole relationship collapsing or it could be incremental pieces of the relationship that need improvement but the improvement's not coming the improvement's not there the resolve's not there the resolve's not coming the value for that is not um, being applied and you could be the problem or they could be the problem or you both turn out to be at the end of my last one I started to become um, not towards her but towards the actual situation I I had no tolerance left and uh, the hostility of these people was incredible absolutely incredible she was the meat and the sandwich although I guess she helped the formation of it and then uh, it just manifested in we were all going to go to this thing together like nothing was wrong and I just went see narcissists look for the easy way out and well the narcissism characteristics look for an easy way out as if nothing was wrong and that just blew my mind I couldn't believe that the attitude was is more or less <coughs> nothing wrong nothing has been wrong and we should all go to this family event of theirs together I I think I had a minor mental collapse it was that bad um, and uh, turned out that they thought I was the problem well I could fix that and that was the end of the relationship
So the two worlds collide in the fantasy at first. Uh, you'll set up a system. I always have a wonderful system for my girls, which they like and enjoy. But then when reality sets in, the two worlds collide into the reality of who's who and what's not. And that's where you have the opportunity to either fix things or let them go. And we're not culturalized to let things go, but as you get older and wiser, and time starts running out, you better be wise all right, because your life will be gone before you know it. And you don't want to be in the wrong place when that happens. You want to be in a happy, loving, reciprocal relationship. I hope that resonates with somebody and helps. Um, that's what these videos are for, to help people, including my exes, to grow and to know what's good and what's right and what's wrong and what's not. And so that we can all benefit from what we've experienced and what we've learned from those experiences to go better in the next episode. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Thank you for coming onto the channel. Bye for now.